heart and we open Hello. our heart to it it is wonderful it is it is wonderful it is powerful it it it, it is awesome it is awesome because the thing is the problem with people they don't receive the word of god they try to contradict right but when we uh, when, yes yes you see, you see you see what you said you see what you said yes and, and, and the same thing what you said last week as well you see which which i think that's where i believe believers from from top all the way i believe this is where the technical when it comes spiritual that's where we make mistake yeah yeah i think so we tend to i, I, I tell you another thing brother binti i tell you what another thing the thing is that we have to open our heart when we hear the word of god and ask the spirit to reveal what the word means do you understand? Uh -huh. don't, don't just take it. Don't just take. Some people just take the word as they get it, but we have to. Uh -huh. uh, we have to allow it in our heart, receive it joyfully, and then the Spirit will interpret it precisely the way God wants us to understand it. That's why the Bible uh -huh. says, you know, that, that's why the Bible says, whatever. it says, study to show yourself approved, a workman needed not to be ashamed rightly rightly dividing the word of truth so when we receive it joyfully the spirit of god opened the word to us and then it just we understand it perfectly just the way god intended us to understand it and there's no misinterpretation and that's when it becomes that's when it becomes powerful yes yes what i'm saying to you is why I say that, yesterday I had an appointment and this lady, she's Irish. I know her for years now. She's she's one of my clients. Yeah. But because I'm not involved in that job like I used to direct. But, you know, there's a group of people around me, even though I said I don't do this job anymore, I don't want to do it. I, over five years, I keep away from her. They still come to me. They say, no, we know you. We trust you. You, you, you bring somebody. Yes. I know they won't like you, but you bring somebody. You just make sure you look after the job or you understand more than it. And that's the responsibility I have. But that gave me an opportunity yesterday. That woman, because she's not born again, she's, but she's, she believes in God. She goes, she, well, she goes, she's a Roman Catholic. I'm making sure. Yeah. But yesterday she shared some step with me. I never believed. I was man, this is where you coming now. Yes. I said this guy, brother another, did say Thursday, last Thursday. What we say. And then she opened herself, she told me, I stopped going to church. Oh, okay. I said, Why? She said, he said, now she explained. Yeah. She gave me some testimonies. What the father know the father she knows that the, the priest that she knows what happened and she knows a priest that was close with her, with a family friend, the priest come. Now the priest is in jail for 14 years because I've been raping little boys. And and she said to me, back island, she see where they dig. Now I've been pregnant and uh, all kind of things is here, testimony. Uh, I said to myself, but I said to her, but Jesus is not them. I say, you stay close with Jesus and That's find right. out. That's right. I said, you better find out, have a relationship with Jesus. Jesus will even reveal himself to you. And Jesus will help you, give you understanding, and put you in the right place. That's right. You see, I have to go easy with her. I have to go easy with her. But she knows I'm a strong believer. That's right. You understand? The mother, she's a big woman. She's a grandmother. So she has a husband. Yeah. That's what she opened to her. So, so so now, Brother Binti, what we need to do now, what you need to do is point her to the way of Christ. Even though she's been going to a Roman Catholic church, she do not understand because they don't preach the gospel. Roman Catholic, yeah, yeah. Roman Catholic church don't preach the gospel. And they, they, they pray to the Virgin Mary. So the Roman, right. the Roman Catholic church is idolatry church. They That's are, right. They are idolaters. So now you know, Brother Bint, you need to tell her the way to salvation. You need to show that you need to repent and accept Jesus 
and be baptized according to the scripture to be saved. That's why I asked her yesterday. I said, I said, but you don't have a relationship with the Holy Spirit. That's right. I said, once you come back the Holy Spirit, I said, what happened? Is, I just remind her, uh, uh, because she's, she's a businesswoman. Where was she's a businesswoman? I was in a in a place where she she does business, but I was there for to help her. But but I said to her, you got to find out Jesus Christ and and baptize. That's that's <laughs> right. That's right. And the Holy Spirit will guide you. I said this is where I said to her, I used to the way you are. That's right. I said, but I said, I said, number one, Jesus said, call nobody. Nobody. You can call your dad father, but you can't call anyone spiritual father. Like a lot of even pastors. That's right. Uh, That's right. Uh, my spiritual father. Then Jesus said, call no one except God is your spiritual father. That's right. You know what I mean? So I said, I said, anyway, I'm going, to, I'm going to always see her because she's always need my advice. She always called me to do something. Well, I always meet her. No, they, they, you no, understand? yeah. So no, 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 brother Albert. This is what I was talking about last week. This is how you are gonna be the light in her life because mm -hmm. she's gonna look to you now how to mm -hmm. attain salvation, mm -hmm. and this is how you're gonna draw her to Christ by opening to her because she could not find it in the Roman Catholic Church. You can't, you can't yeah. go to the Roman Catholic. She pack up. She doesn't go there anymore. No. She pack up. She's, she's very angry. But I'm trying to cool her down as well. I'm trying to don't let her that anger come right. out. I said, that anger, I said, the Holy Spirit can take away that from you and heal your heart. I said, remember, Jesus did that 2,000 years ago. I said, you can't. I said, don't, don't, don't get angry. I said, angry, it brings bitterness and hate. I said, you can't do that. You understand? I'm trying to calm her down. That I said, is good. the Holy Spirit, is the best helper that than anybody in the world, than any government, you president. That's right. Amen. So that is Amen. good. That's good. That's good. You know, but, 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 but also later on, I will talk to you because I met this guy in January, no, February. He's, he was born here, like David. Yeah. Man. His parents come from Mauritius next door to me. Yeah. From January, from February, that guy have been we've been friends. But now he had some serious issue, this issue at that time. And then when he showed me a letter, he was going to do some operation and, and that operation he could die. But I told him, give me that letter. And I, I said, let me pray with you. Oh wonderful. And I prayed. I said, give me the letter, let me hold the letter. Until today, he doesn't have. But now he keep contact. He told me all oh, that. That is good. Uh -huh. That is good. I'm telling you, he told me out that sometimes I talk to him just like David used to with his daughter, two o'clock in the morning. Well, 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 yeah? well, well, but I mean, this is how God uses us. This is the way God uses us. If we are available for God to use us, and He can only use us if we are into Him, His Word, and if we have His Word in well, us, He can't use us otherwise. So, this is how God uses us. God will use you to draw people, you know. That's, 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 yeah. why, that's why he said to the, the Peter and James and John, Come, I will make you fishes of men. So, because they were fishing for fish, but God used them, and we see how God used them mightily to draw yes. man to Him. So this is this is our this is our mission. This yes. is our mission, yes. Yes. and one one yes. we should be proud of. You know yes. that we are called as as an ambassador. You you are an ambassador. You you are an ambassador for the Lord. Oh yes, because you, you, because what you receive His word, you accept His word. And his word is in you. Yes. And your his yes. word, his word in you become a light. So that yes. means you you have the light in you, the light of Christ. And men will look to you for the light. Yes. So this is wonderful. Yes. This is wonderful. Yes. And that's how God that's what God wants to, to be able to use us. Yes. For his glory. Yes. Yes. But anyway, I thank you guys. I even text Brother D. Before we start, I will say I will thank you guys because now I have a, I know whatever I do, I know Thursday I've got God's work to do Where? in a different way. Wonderful, you understand? wonderful. So I thank God. But if I didn't have you, therefore 
before I probably do what I normally do, whatever, but then now I know seriously test them no matter what. It's a, I have to make myself available. It's a commitment. I had but I had brother yes. David there in the background there somewhere. Yes, greetings, greetings, brother Donald, greetings, brother Benji. Greetings to you. I've yes, been here I've been here listening and learning, hearing you guys speak about the Catholic Church and what Donald was saying, etc. and I'm in total agreement. Total agreement. Yes. I want to give God the thanks, the praise and the honour. Um, Brother Donald, could you open us in prayer? Yes, certainly, certainly. Amen. Amen. Uh, Father, in the name of Jesus, mighty God, eternal Saviour, everlasting Father, Prince of Peace, thank you, Jesus. We thank you. We praise you. We bless your wonderful name, your name which is above every name. Lord, we glorify you. Thank you for bringing us up to this point by your mercy and by your grace. Thank you for my brothers, oh God, here joining to discuss and talk about you and to share your word, oh God. Uh, your word says that when there are two or three are gathered together, oh. you will be there in the midst. Lord, we thank you and we know that you are here with us and we pray that you will direct our hearts and our minds and our thoughts towards you. I pray you will open our understanding that we may understand you more. I pray that you'll open our hearts that we may receive your word joyfully. Hallelujah. We pray that you may use us, Lord, as a vessel of honor. Hallelujah. To draw people into your kingdom. I thank you for my brothers, Lord. I thank you for their steadfastness. I thank you for their, hallelujah, their, their desire, my God, to draw closer to you. Bless us in in what we're about to do. Help us that whatever we do will be done to the praise and the glory and honor of your name. Bless our family and our loved ones and those that are dear to us. Have your way, Lord. We give you thanks and we give you praise. We give you glory in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 To God be, the, God be the glory. God is, is, is awesome and is worthy of all praise. Um, I was listening to what you guys were saying and it was interesting what you were saying in the sense of um, recently speaking to people this week, I was speaking about um, the lack of patience that many have when they come to God and how there's a confusion of what it means to come to God and what it means to have that purpose in your life. Now you know you're not just born into this world just to live and die, but there's a greater purpose behind being here. And the whole idea of, of God is, of, the whole idea of knowing God is to learn to, that you have to serve Him. Serving Him is your way back to salvation, is to serve God. And so many who I speak to, you'll, you'll speak to them one week and they're happy and, oh, I prayed about this and this didn't happen. And it's a misconception that many have been taught in the West. They almost treat Christ as if Christ is Father Christmas or God is Father Christmas. God is just there for you to give your shopping list. And you say, I want this, this, and this, and, and he's meant to provide that for you. Whereas there's a lack of understanding that the joys that we get from the Lord is not a physical thing or a material thing. It's a spiritual thing. It's an inner peace. It's a joy. And the greatest thing is the purpose. The fact that we know we have a purpose. We know what we're aiming for. We know where we're going. So um, I've recently been reading in Revelation, um, Revelation chapter 2. Um I was reading this morning and just looking at the way Christ was. You find that when people talk about Christ, they always talk about the the merciful side of Christ when Christ first came. And we see the gentleness of Christ, the healing of Christ, the, Christ speaking about forgiveness, you know, how gentle he was with people. But then you read about Christ in Revelation and you see the other side of Christ. Where he says yes, you know, Binti, he says he speaks completely different. And you notice that the West never want to speak about that side. See, see they rather they rather people walk walk in the flesh than walk in the spirit. Mm-hmm. No, walk in the flesh rather than walk in the spirit. Because the Christ in Revelation is completely different. That side of Christ, he does not play games. He makes it crazy. he lays down the foundation forthright. No playing around. No lukewarm. The message must be given directly, even directed. The, 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 um, the message to the churches, the seven churches, is true, undiluted message. And in this time, I know God has put it on my heart. That's the message that needs to be preached. The undiluted word of Christ the Savior, where there is no messing around. 
no play in a row. And we're seeing already, if you look at what's happening in the media, there is so much revelation taking place. So where else would God lead me but to revelation itself? This is the year of revelation. And I was reading today and I thought, wow. Wow. You, you yes. see, even those that came before, the likes of Martin Luther King, they always promote when he says, I have a dream. The I have a dream speech, they like that speech because mm -hmm. it's a safe speech. It means that a lot of our people who are in bondage, we just keep waiting and waiting and waiting. And you look and you see it's over 50 years since Martin Luther King made that speech and still the people are waiting. Yes. It's not the true message. Martin Luther King, before he died, he says, I feel I have led my people into a burning house. That message they will not speak about. The same with the gospel. You know, they always, they always used to teach the gospel to the slaves. And they would make sure that, that what if it was preached to the slaves, oh. the scripture, that enabled the slaves to be obedient to their slave master. They didn't want this true message. And in this time, God is saying he wants that true message to be preached. So no more playing around. When the people hear this message, the true message, when Christ is speaking in Revelation, they don't, no longer can they go to church and pretend. No longer can they go to church and sing in the choir or the praise and worship team and know that they were partying the day before. No longer can they come to the church and know that they have something in their heart against their brother or they mm -hmm. have an unfinished, unfinished issue with, with, with a friend or anybody. They have to come into the house of God with a clean heart. They're reminded that these are the last days. No, no more playing around. I believe that we're at a time of Solomon and Gomorrah where the, the, the question was asked, can I have the chance to see if I can find at least 10 people who are worthy? Uh -huh. Praise 10 God. that were worthy. So we're yeah. in that place right now where all the playing games, all the pretense, all the prosperity churches, all the madness that's been going on in the world, God's message is here. The time is running now. There was no more time for playing, no more time for games. I'm going to read a little bit of what I was reading. It's a very far what I'm saying. In chapter 2, Revelation chapter 2, verse, uh, verse 17, Christ said, Do not be afraid. I am the first and the last. I am he who lives and was dead. And behold, I am alive forevermore. Amen. I have the keys of Hades and of death. Write the things which you have seen and the things which are and the things which will take place after this. Oh. The mystery of the seven stars which you saw in my right hand, and the seven golden lampstands. The seven stars are one the angels of the seven churches, and the seven lampstands which you saw are the seven churches. Is that, the the, is that the two? Church. Is that Revelation 2.17? Yeah, Revelation 2.17. Yeah, I'm yeah. on chapter 2. Oh, no, sorry, that was one. Sorry, sorry. Yeah, I thought it was one. I'm on two now, yeah. My, my, my apologies. No, sorry, I thought it was one. Yeah, so, so from number two, to the angel of the church of Ephesus, write these things, says he who holds the seven stars in his right hand, who walks in the midst of the seven golden lampstands, I know your works, your labor, and your patience, and that you cannot bear those who are evil, and you have tested those who say they are apostles and are not, and have found them liars, and you have persevered and have patience and have labored for my name's sake, and have not become weary. Nevertheless, I have this against you, that you have left your first love. Remember, therefore, from where you have fallen, repent and do the first works, or else I will come to you quickly and remove your lampstand from its place, unless you repent. But this you have, that you hate the deeds of the Nicolaitans, which I also hate. Who has an ear, let him hear what the Spirit says to the churches. To him who overcomes, I will give to eat from the tree of life, which is in the midst of the paradise of God. And to the angel of the church of Smyrna, uh, Smyrna write these things, says the first and the last, who was dead and who came to life. I know your works, tribulation and poverty, but you are rich, and I know the blasphemy of those who say they are Jews and are not, but are a synagogue of Satan. Do not fear any of those things which you are about to suffer. Indeed, the devil is about to throw some of you into prison, that you may be tested, and you will have tribulation ten days. Be faithful until death, and I will give you the crown of life. He who has an ear, let him hear what the Spirit says to the churches. He who overcomes shall not be hurt by the second death. And it goes on, and so forth, and so forth. And there's even more, as you know, when you read the Revelation, where Christ is so direct. And that is the message 
that the people need to hear. There are many people who are saying that they are Christians, but we all know that many are halfway in and halfway out. And the sad thing is that they benefit nothing. When you're halfway in or halfway out, you as an individual become like the lukewarm church where you're neither, neither there nor here. And mm. there's too much of that. And those are the things that for me that I find um, the most upsetting to see the madness that goes on and to see young people coming to God and not really receiving him because of the confusion that they see. And those will, will definitely root it out. And that's, we're in the last days. This is the time there's so much things going on at the moment. You hear this, you hear that. Government has got their plans. There's the people that we don't see, the hidden hand, that have their plans. Even this year, there's so much more to come. I can see it. So to God be the glory. And I know that he led me to that for a purpose. To go from where I was reading from Job and then to have be going from my um, health challenges recently. And thanks be to God, brothers. Lord has eradicated all that. I mean, today say Amen. I'm in good health. Praise so I give him thanks and praise. I was able to continue doing fellowships, did not miss any at all, in spite of health. This was God's way of testing me mm. to see my faithfulness. And so I'm sure that he now knows that I'm in it till death. You know, there is no turning back. You know, I said before, whether there's one of us on here, and wherever else he wants to leave me, I'm going to be going. And I'm sure that we're all going to be on, on the same path. So this is this, these fellowships is simply iron sharpening iron because we are in the last days. We don't even know this year how things are going to be. Even me, myself, as a self-employed person, lots of my clients now, they're struggling. They can only pay me half of what they were paying me for. Mm. So they're, they're telling me that they're, they're struggling, they don't have any money. And God has been good, he's been providing. But I'm prepared for the famine. And we have to be prepared for the famine in every sense. You know, Christ but speaks about what I just now read there about the long suffering that Paul spoke about. The race is not for the swift, but for those that can endure. This is the time where we're going to have to endure. We're going to have to endure. Because they're going to be coming up with vaccines very, very soon. And each one of us is going to have to make a decision. What are you going to do? You're going to give in to the vaccine? You're going to let them have their way? Or are you going to stand firm? Trust in God. Like Psalm 23 says, yes, though I walk for the very shadow of death, I will fear no evil. We're at, we're at this time right now. So that's why I know God wants me to share today for fellowship. We're in the last days. We're in a time of revelation. These scriptures that we read about, and I'm sure many Christians have read about this years ago, it almost seems like a distant thing. We're living in it right now. All the signs are there to tell us that we're in the last days. They're, they're currently calling it the new normal. They're saying that there's a second spike. Today they said if you go, go to Jamaica and come back now, you're going to be in quarantine for 14 days. You know, it's, it's, it's madness. And you see what's happening in America where the guy was shot seven times in his back. You know, all these things are a wake-up call for our people to come to the Father. You know, stop chasing the devil's dream. Stop chasing the devil's money. You know, the money, money can, can be the root of all evil when you put that before God. And many of our people are falling into that trap. Money can't save you. Only he can. Only through Christ can you find salvation, can you be saved. And, yeah, so I want to say to God be the glory. That was the scripture that God gave me to share today. It is well. It is well, brothers. It is well. It is well. Yes, it's a wonderful scripture. Well. It is serious, Donald. Serious, my brother. It is serious. These are the scriptures that people do not want to hear. Yes, yes. They don't want to hear that. They don't yes. want to hear that. If I only that. people understood the I joys. Exactly. Yeah. If only people understood the joys. Forget coming to the church because you want a husband or because you want a wife or because oh. you want a job promotion. Oh. Surely, oh. in this time of lockdown, people must have seen, they should have seen, that none of these things are important. None of them. None of them is important. And um, stop saying, oh, the Lord really bless him because he's driving a nice car. Satan will give you those things. Uh, Satan will give you those things. Just drop yeah. dinner on the corner. You can change his car every week. Satan oh. will give you those things. You know, the fruit of the Spirit is a blessing. You cannot see the fruit of the Spirit. So when you're in these crazy times and you saw the man's going on, you can, you can be safe. You can feel safe in the knowledge that God is your rock. Yes. He's your fortress. Yes. In him you trust. That's it. Yes. Yeah. Don't worry about Boris, what Boris is doing. 
Yeah. You're in America, you don't worry about what Trump is doing. You know? And Trump is, to me, is I would prefer Trump than the other one that's coming. Yeah. Um, because at least Trump has some fear of God. On, on the other side, that is straight Satan. Yeah. So, yeah. Yes, yeah, so your introduction was quite uh, well received um, in what you said in our coverage um, overall, um, t- talking about the times we're into. And um, it's something that we as Christians have to be very conscious of the yes. times we're into. And, you know, um, you know this message that um, John the Apostle wrote mm-hmm. on the Isle of Patmos, a letter to the church, mm-hmm. and this one to Ephes- um, Ephesians. Um, it says, Unto the angel of the church of Eph- Ephesus, um, these things behold, it is he that has the seven stars in his right mm-hmm. hand, who walketh in the midst of the candle, golden candlestick. Mm-hmm. He said, I know that works. So, number one, first thing, we know that whatever we do, God knows. That's right. Whatever, whatever we have done for him, he knows. He has a record. I know that work. Then thou cannot bear them that is evil. And sometimes we have to look inside ourselves and say that we ourselves, we can't bear those people that are evil. We know what evil is. Those people who kill, those people who persecute. You know, thinking about general countries which commit evil against God, who do not acknowledge God. He says, we, I know how you feel about them, I, you know, I, mm-hmm. that dog can't bear them. So that is a good thing, that we have that in our heart, that we can't bear to see evil. And thou hast tried them that say that they are apostles and are not, but hast found them to be liars. So it's like the way that we can, Brother Binti was talking about those people in those churches who are not preaching the gospel, who are not That's following right. the word of God, who say yeah. that they are apostles, who say that That's they are right. bishops, who say that they are ministers, who give themselves yeah. all sorts of titles, and yeah. they declare that they are the servant of God. Mm-hmm. We should know them, because right. we should know who they are, because a tree is known by their fruits. So we, yeah. sh- we should not go after them. We should not follow them. We should not even acknowledge them as being mm-hmm. servants of the Most High. So I say, right. we know those who will say that person are not, and has found them to be liars, and has borne patience. So we have patience, and um, for my sake has labored and faint not. So this is talking about us as children of God. Mm-hmm. We labor continually. Our desire is to labor. Regardless of consequences, regardless of our condition, regardless of what we face. I mean, That's from right. time to time we face obstacles. Mm-hmm. And sometimes the obstacles make us wonder, who are we serving? Why we have to go through all these obstacles? But he says that he knows our labor. And we are, we are determined mm-hmm. to go all the way. Now, what you were saying, David, about what is happening in the world today, it is clear that mm-hmm. the devil has taken yep. charge of the That's governments right. of the governments of the world. That's right. That's so right. we do not know what hand is going to play. And you no. know, I was thinking, I was uh, thinking today that boy, you know, they say there might be an outage. We don't know what. We don't know what's going to happen down no, the line. No, no. We don't know. So no, no, they were no, saying no. that they were saying that I heard them saying that there might be an outage, electricity, uh-huh. gas, uh-huh. Um, uh-huh. all the communication may go down. Uh-huh. It may go down. It mm-hmm. can go down. Mm-hmm. And how are we prepared? That's right. In case of emergency. Do we have extra lights, lamp lights or something like that? Do we have something to, if mm-hmm. that happens in the winter, mm-hmm. do we have a way of heating, mm-hmm. the, heating our homes? Mm-hmm. Do we have a way of catching, mm-hmm. of having water, mm-hmm. if they cut off the water? So, 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 this is things, right. so these are things we have mm-hmm. to think about. Mm-hmm. You know, we mm-hmm. don't know what, 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 what card they're going to play. No. But we know the devil, and you, knowing the way the devil works, he could play any card. And we are here. We are determined to go follow Jesus. Mm-hmm. We are, but in the meantime, That's we right. still have to prepare ourselves, look after our family, and and not only that, we need to pass the word along. Because mm-hmm. a lot of people do not know exactly mm-hmm. what their gender is, and mm-hmm. we who know their gender, we have to pass it on. That's we have right. to. We have to. The the Bible says, if the watchman see this one coming, right. 
and do not warn the people, then the people's blood will be on the watchman's shoulder. So we are watchmen. And we should be able to bring the people to uh, enlighten the people who do not know about this crazy vaccine that they want to That's force right. on people. Hmm. How are we going to keep quiet? Hmm. Seriously. How are we going to keep quiet? Come on. Come on. You know, so we have, a, we have a great responsibility, my brother. Massive and I, I personally said, I, I, I'm prepared to die. I'm not afraid mm -hmm. to die. I, I mm -hmm. tell you and I mean it. Because mm -hmm. it's no use. We go into church singing, uh, mm -hmm. I, I, I'm determined to go, what is it? I'm determined to go on to the end. <laughs> Jesus with me. You know? I'm prepared to. I, I, I'm prepared. <laughs> no, I'm prepared to. <laughs> I'm prepared to die. I said, we have been comfortable for too long. Yeah. God knows this time was coming. Well, we've, had, we've had comfort. What, what, what the Bible said? The Bible says there's a time for everything. Yes. We've been comfortable too long. Now the time has come where you will be called to yeah. count. And See, we. He had to go through that. Of course. And, and we have to live what we, we have to live what we're singing. We have to live. <laughs> <laughs> it's like take the world take, we say yeah. take the world and give me Jesus that's right there no we have to come to uh, so the time come now say alright which one do you want that's right do you there really you mean what you said so we have there to stand up and this is what there and this is Bible this is what it's saying you know we labor we are born the patient for for thy name's sake and has not and has labored and has not fainted you see, so it, it's a mindset. It's a, it's a mindset, and we have to have that mindset. Mm -hmm. And Christ said, Christ said, didn't he? Christ says, whoever wants to save their life will lose. That, yes, yes. But whoever wants to lose their life for my name's sake, that's where. Listen, you know, David, I always think, uh, Binti, I always oh, think no, about always it. About sacrifice, always. He will always. You know what I always think about? I tell you too. What I always think about when David went up against mm -hmm. the light, I always talk about that. And the day, and the light came. The, 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 no, no, we have a Goliath right now. That's right. Yeah, we do. In, in all, in, in, in the name of principality, in the name of mm -hmm. powers, I'm telling you. In, in the name oh. of spiritual rulers, in the world, we have a Goliath. Mm -hmm. uh, you, you, you agree with me there now, Binti? You're not me. me. We. I I see. We have a we have a Goliath. No, we have a Goliath. No, how are we going? To, how are we going to deal with a Goliath? Mm -hmm. We have to. But what choice you have? Mm -hmm. we, well, that's a, that's the question. What choice we have? We have no choice. Mm -hmm. we, we we have we have to go up against the giant. We have to. There's no there's no exit. There's no way out. No there's, there's brethren, the brother, my brothers, there's no way out. We have to go and get there the is no But you know what? You know what I like about the story of David and Goliath? David went in the name of the Lord. Mm -hmm. oh, and, yeah. and when the giant was coming towards him, the Bible said, David, yeah. run towards mm -hmm. him. Mm -hmm. That is a very important thought, you know. Mm -hmm. Yes. He ran towards him. Mm -hmm. that, that, that makes me think. That facing your fears, you face it head on. Exactly. Mm -hmm. And, and when this Christ is what we have. Water, when Christ was walking on the water, I don't know. And Peter was the only one that was brave enough. But what happened? As soon as he thought about what he was doing, that was when he began to sink. You know, when we walk towards God with total faith, yeah. the Psalm 23 says, Yes, do I walk through the bad shadow of death? I will fear no evil. Right. We have that kind of trust. But 100 trust in him, no doubts whatsoever that he is there. He is the rock. And, and that's and, the mindset needed right now. Yeah, and, and David. Um, yeah. So, so Peter had his eyes on Jesus. That's right. Yeah, you know, I think the thing is that that's why that's why we have to we have to keep focus. Mm -hmm. Fo focus is the thing. We need to focus. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we don't well, need to. Be, you're right. We, what you said, we, we, you're right. What you said, you know. What you say, what you say, what you say is the truth. The way it's going to happen is people like us who are saying we're not going to have the vaccination, they will try and starve us out. We, yeah, of course. Was, that is the method. You can't, that, that car, is, you can't go to the shop. That is what they can't do anything. That, that yeah. is what they're going to do. That is what That's they're right. going to do. And so mm -hmm. we have to prepare ourselves. That's right. We have to prepare right. ourselves for the long run. And, mm -hmm. and I said, I think that 
we don't know as I said we don't know what card they're gonna play because right no. now if you, if you know the truth they are they are baiting children now they're that's using right. children they're using children for bait mm -hmm. that's so right. when school is open now and they mm -hmm. turn on the 5g and the mm -hmm. children them start get sick that's right they're gonna take the children away and they're gonna tell the parents you can't see the children unless that's you have right. the vaccine that's so right. they're using children as bait to bring you out that's right 30 times so you see what we're up against? Massive. But I'm telling you, man. Mm -hmm. we just and bear, bear in mind, bear in mind that the, the, the majority will be queuing for those vaccines. I, I agree, I agree. But, but it's funny. So us, the minority, we're going to be the ones persecuted. You, but David, you, do you know what, mm -hmm. con, what, what control people? You know what mm -hmm. they use to control people? Mm -hmm. Fear. A four-letter word called fear. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Always fear. And you know what fear is? Fear is, uh, it is a, it is a thing for it. It's um something appear to be, um, to be real. Uh -huh. That's what fear is. Fear is not. Uh -huh. the fear, fear is not something that should govern us. That's and right. I, and I always say it's not something. Uh -huh. Yeah, it's not something that should govern us. Uh -huh. I'm not saying fear will not come, but we should uh -huh. not govern us. Rebuke it. I always say rebuke it. Because, because even, in, even in my line of work, most of the things that people speak to me about, I said, has these things happened? No. So I said, but look what you're doing. You're letting it affect the day that God has given you. So rather than spend the time fearing, isn't it better to pray and just to believe and to trust? Because tomorrow's not promised. So every day you're living in fear, you're sacrificing the day that God has granted you. Yeah. You know, and that's what... That's what, but, but as you said, as you said, Donald, you know that the media, this is what they use. But shit, America's even worse. Yeah, America is ten times worse with the propaganda. It's brutal. Twenty-four seven, they're on it. Twenty-four seven, they use fear to control their people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I mean, once we can overcome fear, and I think every child of God should overcome fear because the Bible tells us, and that's, that's why we have to stand upon the Word of God. The Bible tells mm -hmm. us God has given us a spirit of fear. That's what fear, that's right. So Amen. if God has not given us a spirit of fear, we should, we, should, we should not embrace it. Mm -hmm. Am I right? We oh, should 100%. not embrace it, and 100%. it should not have control over us. We should rebuke it. We should be rebuked. Amen. Amen. Brother Binti. Yes. What are you saying, sir? Brother Donald has brought, on, brother Donald has, has brought, has brought some fire today. Brother Dean, he yes. brought some, brother Donald brings some fire today. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah, man. Yes. We have to be on fire. We have to be on fire. What I said, as, as, as I was saying from, from beginning with Brother Donald, What should we say? Same way you guys saying, like, like things are coming, these challenges are coming. But we should not be fair because number one is we have to remember what, what, what the master said. Mm -hmm. We didn't choose him, he chose us. Yeah? And he said, Yeah. This is scripture. Mm -hmm. Look, what well, you fear no one except fear. Fear God is only God can destroy you and send you to hell. That's right. You understand? So so therefore so therefore we have to stay put and stay focused on God, on Jesus, and also his Jesus said. Anyone who not against him are with him. Mm -hmm. Anyone who are not against him are with him. So therefore, other word, what it means is once you carry on to bring his word forward, to preach his word, that's mean you're not against him. You are with him. So we have to remember this battle as well. He said it's not yours. God, he said it's not yours. He says. So whatever they do, whatever they plan, we have to stand and win the battle. Remember, God used Esther. Yes. Where a woman mm -hmm. 
which a population now a population Jews was was a, 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 they were against a, a nation who were against them and mm -hmm. Esther had to marry the king but Esther we preach Esther should was married the king but directly he was not just married was part of it but the real revelation Esther was fast three days no water no yes food. yes yes and then the people yes these people fast with me mm -hmm. and Esther and then Esther have to marry after that the like Esther put God first this is what you are talking about yes. David and Gorilla you understand so therefore we have to put God first in that situation. Me and you, no matter how we agree, well, we can we we can do nothing. No but God can, and God can use you, can use we can use Brother Donald to do it. Mm -hmm. But bear in mind that scripture what you quote now. This is why I'm excited now. Today I'm at another another level excited. Uh -huh. And the word became no 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 serious. I'm serious. Mm -hmm. So so this is a backup. Last week he said, "What what should I say?" Yes. Now, I was reminding him what I went through this week, mm -hmm. and then that word is on my mind. Now you came with the word mm -hmm. to back it up. Amen. Amen. Do you understand what I'm saying Amen. to you? Mm -hmm. you, you? You see, this life, this journey with Christ is a process of learning. That's right. You understand, and you will learn until he call you. Mm -hmm. But that song now, that song he was singing, what you said, we've been stuck. You know why we've been stuck? Because every time we said we won't go to heaven, mm -hmm. even so, that we said, but God doesn't want us to go to heaven. God wants his heavens here. Mm -hmm. God wants his heaven because the so called the seven of God, this is why he get me back now. Yeah, they fail to bring the word. Mm -hmm. They fail just the word that you bring to preach those kind of. They don't because they, they, they always. You remember what you used to tell me earlier, on the beginning day. Ah, soft love, yeah. soft love. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. Soft love, that's mm -hmm. the mm -hmm. It's pure with emotion. That Jesus show in in what you just read, Revelation chapter one, is it? Mm -hmm. Chapter one, yeah, is yeah, one, chapter yeah, one, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Huh? yeah. So Jesus shows if you be with me. Mm. You're going to be deaf. You as a leader, mm -hmm. you're going to be prepared to be offended. Definitely. Because that's what you If you are offended, you still have to preach the gospel. You mm -hmm. still have to be humble. You still have to forgive. You see, you see this, this thing when you read, it comes all that in my mind. So what I'm saying to you is, at the end of the day, no matter what, we still have to do The same man you mentioned, Peter. When Peter was locked up in prison, mm -hmm. what did happen? How did Peter come out? He was in chains. He got, he, they have God around him. Mm -hmm. But Peter, he prayed. Mm -hmm. So the angel came. So we have that. We, mm -hmm. we and you, mm -hmm. when we pray, that that thing that the angel sent the word to be, we pray. God have His angel. That's right. God have. God have million angels yeah. to protect him. Some to call, I'm saying to protect you, to protect anybody. Yeah. So we don't have to fight. His angel will fight. That's right. One yeah. angel of God kill 85,000. One angel. Elijah was sitting down. He saw a vision. God gave him a vision. He saw. They, they told Elijah, Oh, we want to run. There's army come to kill you. Elijah still sit down and drinking, mm -hmm. drinking, he's drinking. Obviously, he must be drinking water or, or, or tea, whatever. So, Elijah, the people said to him, run. He told God, please God, open their eyes. Mm -hmm. And what did he see the Bible said? Behind his army come to attack him, mm -hmm. he saw 200 angels coming. Those angels, when the Bible described it, the tail of the horse he kill you. Hmm. The, 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 oh, 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 the, awesome, the awesome. The mouth of it he can fire out. Awesome. The sword they use, the sword of angels. Awesome. Any any army of Chinese, American, awesome. any awesome. army of the world right now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah? Mm -hmm. This angel will kill you. The so this thing, the when you're coming up, 
me and you, we have to just focus and agree. Agree. That's right. Agree with him. But let him fight. We can fight. Our fight is the word. Bring it forward. Yeah. And we pray. Prayer. That relationship. We pray. And he will reveal. He will reveal himself to us. But I'm saying to you is, I still believe what we are saying. I still believe there's another one who come worse than, than what they come with this vaccine. Of course. When yeah, the for time, sure. Yeah? No, no, what about the time now? Now, this is what God said. When they come with the vaccine, the vaccine might not work. You know why? If God, according to his word, to world chapter 2, he said the moon would turn red. Hmm. The, the, the sun would turn dark. Do you think we can live in this world without sun? If it turned dark? No. But and what's about red? The, the moon mm. red? Who, who can stop that? Do you think that? Well, the, well, the, the, the thing, the thing is... What? No. Huh? The, mm -mm, no way. The thing is, um, whatever is going on, and whatever, as I said, as, as you, we were quite agree, David, that the media is mm. bringing... It's causing fear upon the, right. uh, upon the people mm -hmm. and upon the nation, mm -hmm. upon the mm -hmm. government and upon the gun country and everything. They are producing fear, right? Every day. Mm -hmm. Every day, every day. So what we need to know is that God has got a plan. We don't know what the plan of God is. But yeah. God is God has his plan. Mm -hmm. And before anyone come to put a vaccine in us, God will intervene. You know, before anyone will come and do that, I am mm -hmm. sure that God will intervene. That will not, God will mm -hmm. not let that happen, and that's my I assurance. But I also we, believe, though, I also believe, Donald, as well, that those of us that are called by His name, those of us that say we believe in Him, those of us that have been sharing the gospel with others, we have a responsibility to make sure that we don't go willingly. We of course, stand, obviously. We no, no, stand no, no. and say, no, no vaccination. Because, you know, you, I'm sure that we, we all agree there are many Christians out there that we know personally that will be taking that vaccination. Yeah, they I know. Will accept I know, it I know. Because the government says it. No matter what we say, they will say, no, me, all right, me taking my addiction, you know, and so on. So, what can you do? <laughs> me yeah. have my vaccine, me no, my, my doctor. Uh, Dr. Johnson is a good doctor. Yeah. And uh, my tea is, and my GP. <laughs> listen to me, bro. You would never give me no, no evil. <laughs> Listen, listen to me, man. Listen, listen to me. <laughs> You're right. I quite agree. Very true. Very true. I mean, a lot of us, have, our concept mm -hmm. is that you thought, you think that people have more understanding about what is going on. But a lot of people, even in the church, don't realize. And um, one of my brethren got up one day and made a testimony not too long ago that he was in um, down by um, Edmonton Green. And um, he saw some soldiers there, mm -hmm. and he inquired of the soldier, aren't you what they were doing? And mm -hmm. they said that um, they were taking um, COVID tests. Okay. So I thought my brother would know better than that. Mm -hmm. My brother went and lined up to take the test. And, and oh, I, is he I born mean, again? Yes. Huh? Yes. <laughs> And I'm saying myself, and I'm saying myself, I, I, I'm saying what? You go and take a test. I couldn't understand it. So, so wow. what is the point you was making um, about earlier on, David, about um, a lot of people are being deceived and will line up. They have been, yeah. They will line up to take. Mm -hmm. What is mm -hmm. going on? It's scary. it's scary. What is going on? But the thing is, as you say, people who you think would know better. Are falling into the same scenario and like you don't the way I do with it is this I do my bit because as the Bible says coals of fire will be on my head I tell them I try to tell and when they start to get a bit agitated I say okay God bless you no, I try yeah so yeah yeah just try yeah but they will get angry with you me oh. no my doctor for 30 years me as his doctor <laughs> and I'm so good and the doctor listen wonderful. I say okay this, okay Listen, 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 David. Listen, All listen, right. listen, David. Listen, listen. You know that. You know that. Mm -hmm. A lot of doctors are coming out, mm -hmm. and and with the truth. And, and, and with the truth. A lot That's of right. them. Yeah. But mm -hmm. a lot of them are trapped 
because right. they are threatened that they will lose That's their right. medical the license. That's and remember, right. they have family, they have a home, they have, right. they have mortgage, they, they right. have children to look after, they have their expenses. Right. So many of them are trapped financially. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And they have... Yes, I told, I told the people I was speaking to the same situation, and they yes, no, me, me, no, he would never do that. He's a wonderful man, you know. And I said, okay, I just think. Yeah, well, you can't, yeah. There's nothing that you can do. The Bible already pre warned us that, you know, when you try to get the message that they don't want to hear, you can pray for them. You pray that yeah. they will open their eyes. Well, you know, what, what did Christ true. say throughout the revelation? What did he say? For those who have an ear to hear, let, let them, them hear. hear. You know, yeah, yeah, yeah. You, have, you have these two things here. And then you have the spiritual ear, which is which is your spirit. This discernment, the spirit of discernment, is your true ear. So you can hear with these ears, but the spiritual discernment is the truth. Well, well, you know what you hear with the ear, go into the heart. Mm -hmm. That's right. right. Mm -hmm. And when you go mm -hmm. into the heart, what you hear when you mm -hmm. go into the heart, and what mm -hmm. your spirit in your heart mm -hmm. is like a sieve. That's right. And it will sieve out. And the sun, that's right. It will just mm -hmm. sieve out, and whatever mm -hmm. is good, you know, when you see something, the, it will keep, and the rest right. us, it will spill it out. Do you understand? Amen. So in everything, Amen. there's we, we we need there's a spirit in us is is that's working right. that way. So when we that's hear right. whatever we hear, then that's the spirit right. in us it goes in our heart, and then that's the spirit right. doesn't work and throw away the dross. That's right. You know what I mean, and mm -hmm. that's, that's that's how it works. But we have to, that's right. you, you know, that, that that's how mm -hmm. that's how it works. Mm -hmm. So we we hear everything, but we don't receive mm -hmm. everything. That's we right. We don't digest everything. That's right. We digest what is times. true. We digest just what is right. We digest what is righteous. We digest what we know come from God. Mm -hmm. well, well, when the vaccine comes, my brothers, you will see the biggest cue you've ever seen in your life. The queue will go from one street to the next. They'll be lined up. They'll have it on all the news networks. People will queue in round the block for this vaccine. You know. But 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 do you know that this is not this the vaccine has got nanotechnology in it? Oh you mm -hmm. know that? Yeah, yeah. But but do you know that? Huh? Do you know the vaccine has got nanotechnology in it? Yeah, but but you know, I'm not surprised. I'm not surprised at all. Because us, number one, us believers, we've been warned. Mm -hmm. We've been warned from, from the Master, Jesus Christ. You know, because those things that he told us, number one, he's talking about in the sky like we see, like we see what we saw, 2004 tsunami. Then we saw this, this thing happen. And then we saw it again one time. You remember when... Um, when the, um, uh, the Russian got hit, and they never talk about it, so-called, like you say, the media never talk much. When, you remember Russian got hit? They were thinking that Russian got to have a, 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 a agreement with, with American, talk the American. You remember that one, 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 one years ago, when, when, when the, uh, um, the Russian got hit, something come from India and hit. Hit Russia, the, the, the whole part of the city got smashed. You forgot, yeah? And then, the day, the, that's probably the largest funeral the Pope died in Italy. John Paul, 2006, I was working in Wembley. The, they are traveling, all of them, the, all the president, all over the world have to. And then the same day, the same day for them to get there to Italy. Fly cancel the whole lot cancel. You remember? They could not. They could not fly. Yeah. Why? They, they, now, this is why I show you the scientists are limited. They could not describe. They, they, they were saying it was fog. Hmm. Yeah. And then they say it was dust. Mm -hmm. It was. It, 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 it was like a. And that's where the the, the, the so-called computer in aeroplane, the best aeroplane which they have. Will not fly. The whole thing can sell. You, you don't, don't forget. And I'll show it to you what exactly Jesus said. When we see those strange things, we don't have to worry. It's the same thing. I agree with what David said. We're going to see a long queue, but we're not going to be in that queue. No. And we there to tell these people, I agree. Whether they accept or not, that's it up to them. Don't go. At the end of the day, because of fear, they will. 
Well, but we fear God. They well, don't. They I, don't try. I, I think to they, be honest they, with they you, fear Satan. You understand? They fear Satan, and Satan will use all his power because he doesn't want nobody to get saved. As far as he doesn't want Jesus to have no soul. No. And he will. He will try to trap them and bring them. And now me and you did. And uh, oh, we have. You have your young children and you have your grandchildren. We have to. <laughs> you see, you have to because Jesus said, "Bring them to me. Don't send them away." You understand? So therefore, we have to do what we are doing now. Yeah. And they'll become as well, like you said. As a matter of fact, before we go, you, Brother Donald, probably, you pray again, pray for D, because D is the one who started this thing. Hmm. And so, oh, yes, of course, because of course. He's, working, he's working at night. Why I'm saying that, when you are praying for him, this thing come in my mind because yeah. Satan will bombard him more. And, and because he is working like part of the world on the phone again, mm -hmm. there will be a time they will chase him, sir. What the hell is doing? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Who do you think he is? Why? Mm -hmm. Yeah, now he, he's got another one now. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. He he started with another one, mm -hmm. and Jesus Christ. But you know, uh, Jesus Christ, they don't want to hear Jesus Christ. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So now they will try and do things to you. Hundred percent. You know what? Uh, you know. That's God speaking to you now, right now. Yeah, yeah. What you just not said about me, that trust me, that is God speaking. Because that's, that's exactly where he is. I'm telling you. Yeah, we that's were. Why, that's why he led me to Job. That's why he led me to Job to begin with, to prepare me. That was him speaking to me and saying, listen, you have to be prepared. It will be long suffering. It will be enduring. So I'm, I'm telling you, that money, what you just said, one sign, that is a warning. That mm -hmm. money that they get for you. Mm -hmm. You understand? And I've been doing this job with, with, with the council as well. They kept all my money. Mm -hmm. Until today. Mm -hmm. You understand? So me, I, I ain't worried about that. Mm -hmm. I'm concerned is my, uh, yeah. my God will supply all, mm -hmm. all my need according to his riches and glory. Mm -hmm. In Jesus' name. Yeah. So we always have, when we pray, we have people in that area because at the end of the day, they, they will see that, you know, oh Lord, you're doing this thing. Doing this thing. And, and, and remember, the next thing, what Brother Donald said, we want to go YouTube. Uh, that as well, you have to pray because the end of the day, they won't, they won't like you come. You see now, the problem is, the scripture you just read is all about has to tell the truth. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Yeah. You, you, you understand now? Mm -hmm. So, when you are sharing that word, it's not just a blessing for Brother Donald or me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's a blessing the whole nation. Of That's course, right. of course. But we're not speaking just because we are here in England. We got to speak now. You see, you see what God is start doing is a platform, a foundation. The bigger you go, the more you're going to get attacked. That's right. Amen to that. And this is now where you will know yourself between you and God now. Mm -hmm. You understand? Mm -hmm. So you can't cry. What about my children? What about my mm -hmm. wife? What Jesus said? If you love me. Mm -hmm. you, you, how many times we talk about that scripture? Mm -hmm. How many times? Many times. How many times? How many times? This is yes. yes. If you love me. You cannot. Mm -hmm. Another word, there is nobody compressed. Mm -hmm. you know, you, you, another word, mm -hmm. if we don't, we got slapped. Mm -hmm. We got slapped, and the devil will attack us more and more and more. Um, you know what's amazing? You know what's amazing? When you got two teenagers to deal with as well, that's when you're really tested. Yeah. You know, yeah. When, you're, when, you're, when you're speaking to, to your brothers in Christ and your sisters in Christ, that's the easy part because you're all in agreement. Yeah. But when you're speaking to the young, and you're trying to steer them away. And I find it more challenging with my own children than I used to with those other boys. Because when it's not your child, it's, it's a little bit different. When it's your own, you want them to get it. You so badly want them to get it that you, you have to be reminded by the Holy Spirit to slow down, be patient. Um, let, let them speak and just slowly be patient. They, Plant those seeds. They will, they will bear fruit in due time. In due season, they will bear fruit. Because they, Satan will use your children 
to yes. make the challenge that much greater. We are, we yeah we yeah we're in um we we're, we're in a situation um we're in a we're in a war whether we like it or whether we want mm -hmm. whether we like it or not. But once we start saying we declare Jesus, we're mm -hmm. in the war. The devil has his ma has, has his eye upon us. Hundred percent. And he will find every way to fight us. He'll fight yep. us in our family. He'll yep. fight us in our finances. He'll yep. fight us in in our emotion. He'll fight every way. He'll put our mm -hmm. people against us. Mm -hmm. You you have to understand how the devil works. This is this is mm -hmm. the way the devil works. And mm -hmm. all he wants to do is discourage us That's and bring right. us to a point. And I go back to this thing of fear. Mm -hmm. He wants to discourage us because once we become discouraged, you know what comes in after that? Fear. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We become, and that, and when we become fearful, our mind is clouded. That's right. So that's how he works. Mm -hmm. He wants us to be concerned, like mm -hmm. mentally, worried about finances, yeah. torment, our, torment our, you. our relationship, mm -hmm. our health. Mm -hmm. He yeah, attack our health. He, he mm -hmm. attack us in every corner. Mm -hmm. And he wants to bring on fear because once we have mm -hmm. fear, we can't think straight. And this is why we say, um, fear, we have to overcome that. That's right. When we overcome, when we overcome fear, we overcome the devil. Mm -hmm. Because that's a tool he used mm -hmm. against us. Mm -hmm. I think the, the, the word says fear is um, false in from, um, is it um, emotion, emotion appearing real, something like that. Mm -hmm. But if I, if I just read a word here from um, the Psalms, what's the Psalms, Psalm 53, it says, mm -hmm. listen to this. For mm -hmm. Psalm 53, verse 5, it says, mm -hmm. There were they in great fear, where no fear was. I like that scripture. Mm -hmm. They were they in great fear, where no fear was. For God has scattered the bones of them that encamped against thee, against you, against me, and put them to shame because God has despised them. No, I like this word. Because sometimes people are in fear, and there's no fear. And most times that's what it is. That's, that's what it is done. Most times there's no fear. There is no fear. There is no fear, David. There's not. And so you don't move because of it. That's exactly. what you want to you're, keep you standing still you're, so you don't move. You're, you're frozen. That's right. You can't make a proper decision. You can't. You're not thinking straight. Mm -hmm. you, 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 all your mind is going in every direction. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because fear is taking over. Mm -hmm. And sometimes the most scared people, the most fearful people are those who say they have God. And I, and I've been speaking to them about how can you how can you encourage your family? You say that you want your children and your relatives to come to God, but then you're consistently speaking with fear. How will they come when you're supposed to stand in the presence of fear with confidence and boldness? Not in yourself, but in Christ. You're supposed to stand in fear. I would tell you something. Fear without like a tree planted by the rivers of water, like what Psalm 23 is taught. And we have this. You see, yeah. Christ is, he says it. He's because that he's not seen this level of faith amongst his own. When the Roman soldier came, listen, listen. I've not seen. It. And it's the same now. The, the David, same now. David, <laughs> being to David, being, I tell you something, right? Mm -hmm. Is either we're gonna stand up on the word of God, or we are not. Mm -hmm. Did you understand what I'm saying? Is either we're gonna trust God, or we are not. Because it said that a wavering mind, the Bible says, a wavering mind is like mm -hmm. a ship on the ocean without a sail. Mm -hmm. Wavering mind. So mm -hmm. when we when we when we do things in God and in the Word of God, we must do it without fear. That's right. But but, but would you not agree, that Donald, that it can be very draining? on you on you as a person absolutely that you find you find that by the time you finish speaking to 10 people who have all of the same absolutely. fearfulness absolutely that when night time come you say lord lord please you're exhausted help me, help me. you're drained i'm trying lord i'm trying to do your will but you're, you're my drained. goodness you're, you're drained but, but, you're, but drained. Of, you're, you're drained, I'm you're drained. You. i agree but you remember um you see the thing is we as christians right we talk about moses we talk mm -hmm. about David, we talk about Elijah, we talk about all these prophets. We need to do what they did. That's right. 
We talk about the three Hebrew boys. We need to do what they did. We need to stop talking about them and because we are in a position now where we are faced with the same danger. The same. The same. I'm telling you. The same. The same. It was so funny. Even, even, Saturday, even Saturday fellowships. Even Saturday fellowships. I've had Rose come on and say, I'm going to pray for pray for my brother and I'm thinking that's God right there yeah. because I don't always discuss on a Saturday that's right. what my week has been through but when I tell you that this phone will go off and I'm on this the same thing we're discussing now we're saying you have to have faith let me pray for you or someone will say can you pray for me I'll pray for you and I say but some, you have to get to a point now where you have to pray for yourself yeah. you, know, you have to believe yes. in God I can only do so much I can pray for you a thousand yes. times a day but, but, but at the end of the day you yourself have to come to him but, 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 but David, oh. uh, David, Binti, I don't want to cut you still. But mm -hmm. you're, you're right on point, and I like the way you're talking. I love it. I love it. Mm -hmm. um, but think about this now. Mm. When the children of Israel came out of Egypt, mm -hmm. they, they, they chided Moses so much mm -hmm. that Moses mm -hmm. said, Take my life, Lord. Mm -hmm. God was going to destroy them. They said, Take me, mm -hmm. Lord. They take my life. Mm -hmm. Elijah, the same. And Elijah said, I'm not worthy, take my life. Mm -hmm. So imagine the pressure that those patriots I'm and prophets you. were mm -hmm. onto that they said, take my life. Mm -hmm. It's not an easy road. No, an easy. It, wasn't that's for, why. it wasn't easy for them. It's not going to be easy no. for us. No. That's, that's why Christ says, wherever two or three are gathered, because he knows that by yourself, you're more vulnerable. Well, you know, by yourself, you know, you need you, to remember, you need to be able to come together as as in agreement. You, you, as you, 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 you have to remember what Christ, after the prophet, what he told all his his disciples. What did he mm -hmm. tell them? Now, God is, God that, that, that 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 a question Peter mm -hmm. asked. Peter, you see me? I love Peter. He, he's got a mouth. Yeah. Get fire. Get fire but belly. I tell you, if Peter said. Why are you speaking? You know very well the scripture, both of you. Mm -hmm. Why are you speaking parable? Mm -hmm. Why don't you tell these people plainly they will understand you? Mm -hmm. Jesus called them now. Now, this is why I told you those preachers, they fail. They fail. They don't bring that scripture line up. This is what Christ wants us to preach. He said, let me tell you. And I'll tell you, this is a secret. It's secret now. This is a secret Jesus is sharing with them. The reason why I don't tell them, I tell you. Because you, this is scripture. Mm -hmm. He said, because you have given up now. This is why you come David now. Mm -hmm. about, about the children. Mm -hmm. you, you, get, you, you left your home. Now, he, he pointed out with Peter. He said, mm -hmm. you left your house, your wife. Your children, because of me, mm -hmm. and those of you do, who was doing the business fishing, you know the fishermen. He says mm -hmm. you left all these, all of you. You leave that because of my name's sake. Mm -hmm. So therefore, your reward will come. You don't have to worry. The one thing to you, they didn't die. This guy, they did not die until they finished the mission. Most of them, That's right. they did the work. You understand? And they were prepared. They were not fear. They were prepared because they know. You see? Because we are in a very... Remember, we are in a very comfortable in the building mm -hmm. every Sunday, which is a tradition, which I call it religion. Religious. It, 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 it is not, they're not going for the gospel, for, 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 for the truth. Mm -hmm. So, therefore, we got a routine. But now the challenge is that to bring the truth. When you don't bring the truth, you stack and Satan love it. Now tell me, both of you, how did like like Donald, how did Peter or, or Paul and all, how could Paul 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 was in a journey one day? A woman Your voice is gone. Yeah, this, this happened to you as well, you know, Donald. Yeah. Donald's crashing as well. You know, you know, you know that there's that, that certain powers that want us to preach this word, so to speak this word. That's the reason why. <laughs> yeah, I know it happens. Mm -hmm. They get frozen. They freeze us out. Yes. But Abinti, you still there? Um. Okay. Well, while he comes to come back, um, David. Um, 
So, so what, what, what I'm thinking now, um, in the time we're into now, mm -hmm. um, we need to sound the trumpet. That's right. Um, we shouldn't, as I, as I quite say that, we should not be concerned too much about what is going on. We, we must be aware of mm -hmm. what is going on, but the whole thing is, it's, everything is in the hands of the Lord. It's mm -hmm. not this fight. This battle is not ours. No, because it's not us. It's not we. The devil want is is God is after, but he can't trouble God. So mm -hmm. he, he 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 give us all the problems and everything. And he's also called the accuser because you know mm -hmm. he accuses us before God every day. Accuses right. all the brethren before God every day. Mm -hmm. So he's a, he's the accuser. But mm -hmm. regardless of what it is, we know that God, Jesus has got the victory. Has got the victory. Yes. And um, so we just have to give him thanks. And, you know, he, he's fighting every one of us. He fighting mm -hmm. every... But we have to be steadfast. This is why the, um, the, the, that chapter you read in Revelation um, verse mm -hmm. 1, it says that you, 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 you're steadfast, that you mm -hmm. keep on the course. Keep right. on the course. Don't no waver. What. Don't waver to the right or to the left. Keep on the course, That's right. because he's That's there right. with you. He will see us through, and mm -hmm. he, he will. If we have, to, he will take us to the fire. Mm -hmm. But if we have to go to the fire, he will go to the fire with us. Mm -hmm. He will not Amen. let us go through the fire Amen. by ourselves. Amen. And once he's in the fire, you know it will. He'll mm -hmm. quench the fire. Mm -hmm. If we Amen. have to go to the water, we, we'll go to the water. Mm -hmm. If we have to go through the water, he will take mm -hmm. us through the water. This is how mm -hmm. God works. That's right. So we have ever confident man to, 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 to trust him. And you mm -hmm. was mentioning about um, when we get together, like two or three get together. The Bible mm -hmm. says one shall chase a thousand. Chase a thousand. Mm -hmm. And two shall put ten thousand. That's right. Amen. So imagine that power. Mm-hmm. It's a lot of power. And, and, and you know the important thing, Brother David, is that mm -hmm. when we stand upon the word of God, mm -hmm. we, we, we have power. Mm -hmm. When we are firmly standing on the word of God, mm -hmm. they say, God, you said that, Lord, mm -hmm. I believe that, mm -hmm. and that mm -hmm. is that. Amen. You know and I mean? and it's, it's, it's about God's will as well, like you said as well, because I can't think of a time, most of the time when I'm speaking to someone or doing God's, God's work, Obviously, my physical self is never necessarily ready, but I make sure that the spirit has dominion over the flesh. Once I get there and I'm doing the work of God, you feel a goodness inside that you can't explain. And when it's all over and you've done the will of God, you feel a certain peace of mind within yourself. Yeah. And you learn that it's not about your emotion. The Bible tells us that God's not God of emotion. If we were to operate on emotion, we wouldn't do anything. No. Many times you think, you know what? I'm not feeling Listen, good today. Let me emotion, just... <laughs> is, emotion is in the head. That's right. Emo emotion is con is connected to what you see, hear, mm -hmm. feel, and touch, whatever. That mm -hmm. is emotion. Mm -hmm. We are spiritual people. That's right. The spiritual people live by faith. Mm -hmm. Faith is a substance of things hoped for, things mm -hmm. of evidence of things we are not seen. That's so, right. If you see the victory, if you have, the, if you want the victory, see the victory. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If you want to overcome, see overcome. Mm -hmm. If you want health, see health. That's right. Power is in the tongue. Mm -hmm. Life and death is in the power in of the, the tongue. tongue. That's right. So we have to speak what we what we have in our heart, mm -hmm. and it will manifest. And remind ourselves it's not by our strength, but by Him. And by we Him, do all yes. Things through but Christ. Have, but so we remind ourselves that we may be, we may be fragile yeah. human yeah. beings. Yeah. But it's not us; it's through Christ. Yeah. But we and have. As the Bible says that the power that works in us, you know, greater is in us than that which is in the world. So we don't have to be fear. Fear not, He says. That's right. You know, so yeah, these are the things. But He is able. Yeah. I am a testimony. I can testify all day long of the greatness of God. And that, that's the thing that I lean upon. Even when, even when you speak to 10 people and you feel drained at the end of it, you think, you know what? I gave 110% for God. And he knows. And sometimes those, those 10 that you spoke to, you may feel that nothing has happened. Then, later down the week, they send you a text and you think, oh, okay. And sometimes the one that you thought was the most challenging to get through, that's the first one that, <laughs> fruit, that bears fruit. The one that you thought was not listening to, that's the first one to bear fruit. 
Mm. So I've, I've seen it over, the, over, the, over a period of time, so I know. And it's right. good. And even Saturday's fellowships for, for the family has been very, very, it's been excellent. Well, well, the thing is, David, God is using you. May he continue to use yeah. you. And we'll pray that God will um, be with you. Um, yes. And that God will give you strength. Um, and God will give you direction, you know. Um, Amen. Whenever, whatever you do for Jesus is precious in his sight. And, That's um, right. You, you know, every, as, as, as you read earlier on, is that he knows your works. Mm-hmm. And nothing that you do is unrecorded, and is you mm-hmm. you will not lose Amen. your blessing. So keep, keep it up, keep it up, and Amen. with the family thing, and um, keep faithful and keep trusting in God. God has God can open mighty ways, mighty doors that mm-hmm. we don't even think, you That's know, right. think about. But He's a He's a way maker, and he sometimes we you just we're in a situation that we don't know how we're gonna get out of the situation. Mm-hmm. We were in a corner. We don't know how we're going to get out of the corner. Mm-hmm. It, because that's why the devil put us in this situation. Mm-hmm. But one songwriter says, if we do not have a problem, we would know that he can solve God them. God can so solve them. Problem right. is good when we that's have them. Right. But if we mm-hmm. know how to take them to the Lord, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. he will solve them. Amen. There's nothing beyond him. There's nothing. I mean, nothing. we know what he did to Lazarus when he was dead three days. Mm-hmm. Brought him back to life. So, what, what, what is worse? What can mm-hmm. what can be worse for us? That's right. That a man is dead after three days, and you he's tied up, and he may be. Of course, normally he mm-hmm. would be stink. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But you bring him back to life. Mm-hmm. So the power of God can reverse everything. That's right. Every situation. That's right. He has the power. So when we have when we know God. That's why I said when we know God and we believe and stand up on His Word, we have we we are powerful. We Amen. may seem just ordinary like everybody else on the street, <laughs> but the God. But if the God, the Bible says the eyes of the Lord is upon the righteous and His Amen. ears is open to their cry. So, but Amen. if the eyes of God, <laughs> and it says to deliver them, you know. Mm-hmm. If you read the, 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 the scripture, the eyes upon the Lord, of the Lord is upon the righteous to deliver them mm-hmm. in times of trouble. Amen. So what what do what, what, what more do we need? Nothing more. He also says, many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord delivers him out of them Amen. all. Amen. Not some, all. So we have to be reminded. It, it, it is um. I, I would say the most challenging, the most challenging thing that we, I think we face is un- remembering that we can't save everybody. As much as we would like, we're reminded by the scripture that says every man has to work at their own salvation with fear and trembling. That alone should make us put that work in. Because the Bible says it's not the will of the Father that any should perish. And none of us want our loved ones to perish or people that, we, that we're friends with or we would like to save everybody. We know we can't. So all we can do is put that work in consistently, sow seeds into these people's lives and pray for God's mercy over their lives. Those that have not yet chosen to come, I always pray mercy over those individuals and pray that that, that they will see the light. Yeah. I always believe that every, the Bible lets us know that every day that we are given is a blessing. And and the fact that he says he causes the sun to shine on the just and the unjust, everybody who has life today, if they don't have not found God yet, have not chosen to make that, that choice, make that walk with, with Christ, they can do it. The just and the unjust we all have the same privilege. That's how merciful God is. So that's why I always say one day at a time. Tomorrow's not promised. Rather than be down about today or find anything to complain about, be grateful. Really? And you find that those who have, those who have the least, that to me, always seem to show the most gratitude because they appreciate just having food. Really? Imagine how we take it for granted. You know, you, you feel hungry, you go downstairs and look at the fridge and go inside the cupboards and see what you're going to eat. What should, I, what should I eat? We say it so casually, what should I eat? That's a blessing. Yeah. When you can put yeah. a meal down and you sit down, your family, and you all enjoy that meal, that's a blessing. And we've lost that now. A mindset. Yeah, yeah, I agree. A mindset of appreciation is good for us. I'm telling you. A Very mindset good. of appreciation. That means. That pleases God. That, yeah, that pleases God. Mm. Because if, when we wake up in the morning, we, mm. we, 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 it wasn't promised us. Not promised. But God says, let him wake. That's right. I'm not, let him wake. If it was, listen, if it wasn't for God, put it this way, and I, I, I am convinced, mm. if it wasn't for God, 
if it wasn't for God, mm -hmm. if God didn't say tomorrow, wake up, wake up, Thompson, mm -hmm. I would not wake up. There you go. Mm -hmm. And we have to realize that's a fact. Mm -hmm. Suppose God <coughs> pull himself away. Imagine. Mm -hmm. You think I'll mm -hmm. be alive? Trouble. Trouble. No, but, but it's a fact. Mm -hmm. Of course, yes. it is. Definitely. Yes. Our God is so unique mm -hmm. in everything mm -hmm. he does. Imagine that the Bible says our hair in our head is numbered. That's right. How intricate can it get? Hmm. You don't know how much hair you have on your head, David. Never, never. Binti, you don't know how much hair you have on your head. Hmm. No, 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 no. But God, no. But that's why the scientist goes wrong, is it? Hmm. <laughs> 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 you see, you but, 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 but brethren, this, but this, that, but we have to realize. We have to realize this. This is the, this is a God that we serve. We have to realize. That's right. He's an awesome God. He's intricate in every, in every detail. It's awesome, man. You you are getting set up mad now. Oh yeah, for sure. But it's, yeah, it's awesome. This is why we have to pray for Brother D. Yeah, we do. We have to put, we have to put it. We have to put him before the Lord, indeed. We have to put him before the Lord because yeah, God, I'm telling God, you, God is using every, him. Every week we have to pray. I'm telling you. Yes, everything. because you know the devil don't like people who you know, try to you know. do this kind of thing. That's right. He doesn't because you are taking people away to from come him. To them. Yes. That's right. Amen. That's right. So he's and, and, and remember what Jesus said, man. Love darkness more than light. Oh, yes. That's right. That means those people who are vaccine, those people that you talk to, they don't take it away. They love darkness. Mm -hmm. And Satan is darkness. Yeah. But Satan that's, are very that, that is to their yeah. that is to their detriment. Mm -hmm. That is to their detriment. Sadly, sadly yeah. to say that's to their detriment. <sighs> but w when we think about it, you know, um, brothers, is that when we think about the condition of the world right now, oh. I mean, there's very few people who want to hear about God. Oh, there is. That's right. 100%. Exactly. Exactly. I want to know. You, you, but, 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 you, 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 brother, brother Donald, let me ask you a question. Why you believe there's a very few people? I know you, because you believe in scripture, but why you think very few people uh, 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 I don't want um, to believe. I mean, people well, don't well, want to believe. Well, you use one word a while ago. Say that men love darkness mm -hmm. before light. And I mean, Jesus said that. Yes, sir. that's it. Yeah, yeah, Jesus yeah. He said, said that. that. Yeah. So yeah, 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 yeah. If you love darkness, you will walk. Yeah. Out, you you won't want to have the light. You won't want to hear about no. the light. You don't want to no. touch the light. You want to That's move right. away from the light. You want to move into a dark, dark, dark place because you love it. The darker it is, the more you love it. And when you move into darkness, you're moving away from God. That's right. But addition to that, Brother Benty, is that from the beginning, it was always so. Because remember when God, in the attitude, when, when um, God called Noah, there was just him and his family that was saved. You realize it was us, him and his family. Serious. So, and Jesus said in his word, he says, as it was in the day of Noah, so shall mm -hmm. it be mm -hmm. when the coming of the Son of Man. Mm -hmm. So, it from the beginning, people don't want to know about God. They don't. Don't, man don't want to know about God. Man don't care about God. Mm -hmm. From the beginning, mm -hmm. from those days, it's the same thing now. Mm -hmm. Same thing now. That's why to praise God, and when I say praise God, I mean praise Him from the time that the daylight hits, you hear the birds singing, and you thank Him for life. To praise God when you're eating your meal, and you're grateful to Him for your meal. Thanking Him that you have transportation to get from A to B. Every single thing, to thank Him for those things. These are things that many forget to do. Yeah, but remember... God is so merciful, God is so faithful, God is so true, you know, and we have, we, have, we have been living in comfort for a long time and the day of tribulation is here. We have to be prepared for the days of tribulation. 
this is the message that we're trying to share to the people. Some will listen, some won't listen. We know that most likely most will not listen, unfortunately. Is, is and specifically it, those who've been, who've been ta taught a, a false doctrine for years, Donald, as you know. Yeah. Many churches have been teaching them about prosperity and your harvest is here and, you know, all kinds of false doctrine. But in this day, the day of the year of Revelation, mm -mm. You know, no uh, more. Yeah. No um, more will that stand. Yeah, that's true. Um, people, people hard just turn away from God. And yeah, they, they want, a long they, time. That's yeah, right. they want to know about God, but mm -hmm. it was in the days of old. It's the same thing happening now. And you know, you know something was so sad about it, mm -hmm. David. That, um, mm -hmm. when I just got saved, um, um, somewhere in 1980, mm -hmm. God gave me a, a vision of hell. I'm telling you, God gave mm -hmm. me a vision of hell. It was a small, a vision that I saw that I can't mm -hmm. forget. You mm -hmm. know, and um, from I had that vision of hell, I know that there is a place called hell. Mm -hmm. It's not something we just talk about. I mm -hmm. know it's a place it's called hell. It's real. Mm -hmm. And I, I may not have seen the full picture of hell, mm -hmm. but what I saw, what it's I enough. saw enough is was enough. enough. <laughs> And you know what? You know what? It, what? I, what conclusion I come to? The conclusion I come to is that hell is a place that I wouldn't want to see my worst enemy enter that place. You know, when you say that, that that's that's my conclusion. That you know, somebody might have the worst things. But still, the worst things they might have. They might have tried to hang you. They might have tried to cut your head off. They might have tried to kill you. Um, because I know I've had the experience. I almost, you know, I, I don't know if I told you about the time when I got held up by gunmen in Jamaica. I don't wow. know if I told you that, but no, but I, I could have lost my life. Life, yeah. I had, a, I, you know, we, you know what they used to call the ratchet knife. Have you heard? Of, you remember the ratchet yeah, knife? Yeah, yeah. Very you, flick it, you flick it, and um, yeah, it opens, yeah. and it's very sharp. Yeah. Yeah. Like a razor. You yeah. remember those? Yeah. Yeah. Well, I had one of them on my neck for about, for about one hour. Wow. So I was looking in the face of death mm -hmm. for one hour. Mm -hmm. Can you now imagine, David? Mm -hmm. Imagine what I said looking in the face of mm -hmm. death. Mm -hmm. Literally. Do, do you understand what I mean? I know in Jamaica they don't play over there. You, 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 no, do you understand? Know, I know in Jamaica they do not play. Do you understand what I mean when I say I'm I, looking in the yeah. face of death? Hey, yeah, yeah. For one hour. Yeah, seriously. But you know something, I, I, I prayed. Mm. I prayed while I was in that predicament. Wow. I prayed. I said, God, you have the power. Mm. But I'm telling you, man, mm. it was serious. It was serious. So what I'm saying is, I bring back the point about hell, is that um, mm -hmm. those guys who did, did that to me, God help me, I got away. Mm -hmm. I would wish them hell. Wow. Do you understand what I mean? Mm -hmm. So, you, so this is what we're up against, man. Mm -hmm. It is a battle. This it is a war, like you said. This is what we're up against. It's a war. And you know, God, God don't want nobody to go to hell. But then God give man free will. You know, it says choose. Huh? Hmm. So it's a choose. To work out their salvation, that's right. Work out your salvation, as he said, with it's, fear it's, it's, and trembling. Awesome, David. Awesome. Hmm. It's awesome, man. The response. And that, and that, you know what, add, add to that? The mm -hmm. responsibility on our head. Mm -hmm. That everyone who needs to know mm. the way, we have mm. to make sure that we are there to show them the way. That's right, that's right. That's where the responsibility comes. Mm. And it's a heavy... He will call us to account. He will call us exactly. to account. It's a heavy exactly. It's not easy. It's a heavy responsibility. That's right. So the do, you remember, do you remember how Christ speaks? What did he say? Wicked servant. Christ, yeah. Christ never... You see, they like to measure Christ in this softly, softly. Christ did not mince his words. He said, pure, clear, wicked servant. That's why I would say you are a wicked servant. Here you are. You see, God is telling us that he's given us so much. The, the, the opportunity for salvation is so great that how could you possibly sit down and not share 
Send that message. That Why right. would you not? If you have, if you have me, if I reside in you, how could you look around you and see destruction and not have a desire to do something to be the light? Because Christ says, "I am the light of the world." Anyone who's going to follow Him has to be that light also. The wheat and the tears must grow together. There's no escaping it. We're meant to make a difference. We are called to make a difference. And when He calls us, we have to be able to account for the time that we were serving Him. What yes. did we do? Right. So it is. It is very. I've always felt that desire. As I used to speak to Binti about this from years ago, I always felt desire. I used to work with the young boys, and it was a battle. I uh, yeah. And it's come full circle now. Come full circle. And God has shown me that it's for those who heal it them here. You yeah. cannot force feed someone. They have to want it. Is that yes. what they're going to hear it or they won't hear it? Yes. You know, Christ even spoke about, you know, the good ground, you know, and, and shallow ground. You, know, you, you, can, you can plant seed, but, you know, only on the good ground will you see fruit. On the but, ground that's but, not so good. But, yeah. But, you, you know, David, they, they are, you know that the, the Bible says that those who God for new he predestinate mm -hmm. and those who predestinate he call and those mm -hmm. who he call he justify and those mm -hmm. he justify he glorify mm -hmm. we have to face the fact that there god has got his mark on certain people yeah is not everybody going to be saved no sadly to say it is very sad not everyone will be saved mm -hmm. but, but, but you remember what jesus said two men mm -hmm. outside in the park one go up, one stay down. Yeah. Two men in the house do whatever they do in the room. One go up, one stay down. But let's tell you exactly what you said. As a matter of fact, you don't have to say sorry because he wanted mm -hmm. you. He, he said, My way, without me, you are nothing. So, therefore, if you don't do his way, mm -hmm. his way, his kingdom, will you have to come in? If you want to come in, you want to obey me. You see, sometimes what happened when we talk about Christ, we forgot that Christ. Why did David? You know, they asked them. They asked. They asked. They asked. Um, um, Jesus asked the Pharisee question. Pharisee, he said, um, "You, you are saying, I uh, calling Jesus. He is not calling Jesus, son of David." Jesus said, how come you telling me, son of David? When David is saying, Jesus quote the scriptures, the scriptures in Psalm, David called him, my Lord, Lord. He said, how can I be his son when David called me Lord? Hmm. So therefore, Jesus, not because he's Jesus, Jesus is a king, he is the Lord, and, and he is the savior. So therefore, when we not appreciate that and don't follow his step to be with him, and these people, they'll be always in trouble. There's nothing you and I can do. I'm telling you, and we have to do what we do in here. This is, this is, I'm telling you, this, this topic before we close. Remember, I'm saying that to you guys. I'm not telling you what to do. Don't say to you, I believe this is a platform, a foundation God opened. And God is always open. He always gives you a word. He won't let you go, carry on, talk, talk, talk. He will give you a word, a foundation. And this is the way I want you to, to do my work. That's right. Amen. You, you know, you see, we know because this foundation now, there's no money. Early on, when Brother Donald was saying uh, uh, something, he was saying that the problem with, 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 with the church and all, because is they. They have, which Satan used, they have money. You see, if you look at it, now you tell me where did Jesus, when did Jesus pray or do anything, miracle, Jesus asked for money. Hmm. And you can't deny it right now. It's happening. Mm -hmm. For years before you got saved, before I got saved, give the money. And then I pray. God tell me. And, and, and this is a man of God standing no. in front of poor people. The, the Lord tell me to that's you false, to false, that's false doctrine. That's, that's false doctrine. That is false doctrine. Now, yeah. Just, there's some you people. See? Yeah. That's false doctrine. No, that's what I'm saying to you. And it's happening openly. And I'm telling you the truth. 
is very sad. If I tell you the truth, you, you, you may not agree with me, but I'll say to you the truth. I see most of these things, a lot of pastors do that. A lot of them, they come from Africa. This deliverance, they do deliverance. If you do deliverance, you have to give money. Ah, this thing, I'm telling you the truth because I've been visiting right now on this since I am right now. I've been visiting 17 church, apart the church where I used to go. 17, and I see what they do. And I, I was asked with a friend, somebody I know, he worked on the street, witness. I used to go with him sometime. Yes. Yeah, Wood Green. Wherever he goes, Walton Stone, Tottenham, Seven Sisters. And, and the guy, the, the one pastor told him, come and join me. He's making 2,000 pounds a day. Listen, I've seen it, but 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 I've seen that I've seen that Albert. I've been I've been to I've been to one of those churches where they're collecting money, big big money, big big money for you know and prophesying and this or whatever. I've seen it, but we know those are false doctrine. We know that for prophecy, um, but sometime concerning the, the present church is that people are pressuring people to pay tithes, which they may not be able to afford and that's that's mm -hmm. what I'm more is concerned about. Mm -hmm. I'm talking about you know what I mean? Sometimes mm -hmm. people are pressured that they have to pay tithes or else. Because I yeah. was listening to one program the other day and they were saying that um uh if you don't pay tithes then you, sh you shouldn't be able to do anything in the church, which doesn't mm -hmm. make any sense to me. No. Um the tithes was from the Leviticus days and Levi was the one who to collect tithes and tithes was in those days was about your your, your stock, whatever you have, you know, you bring them into their storehouse and all those things, and offer them unto the Lord. Um, so that was how, how tithes was meant. But nowadays people are talking and demanding tithes, and I, I think Peter said, um, I th no, it's at Titus in Titus one and verse eleven. It tells us about filthy lucre. We have to, you see, the thing is that we have to know the Bible. We have to know the Word of God. You know. Mm -hmm. We have to understand and know the word of God because if we don't know, we are bit we we people are just thinking of their own him. head. You yeah, know what I mean? Yeah, be deceived. Mm -hmm. Yeah, very deceived. So we have to go to the word of God, and I mean, I think it's um, Titus one and verse eleven, um, if I'm not mistaken. Mm -hmm. I said, "Whose mouth must be stopped? Who subvert? Who subvert the?" the whole house teaching things that they ought, n ought not for mm -hmm. filthy lucre so filthy lucre is money mm -hmm. okay. so some some so the bible talks about those people mm. my, my, my main issue with, with what what you're saying binti is it makes my job more difficult when, when you speak to young people the ones that think that they know let's say the, the, the age bracket like 19 20 21 those ages, they will always come to you boldly and say, oh, I can't do this church business, they're all corrupt, these pastors, and they'll start sending you videos of the pastor you know, being accused of taking money and so on and so on. It makes it that much more of, a, of an obstacle. The Bible distinctly says, Christ says, whoever deceives one of these little ones and gives a warning, they'd be better that they put a noose around their neck because there are many of those types. All those false prophets yeah. False pastors. Wait, wait. They make them. They make. They make the job of those that want to win souls, that want to um, plant seed, make it that much more of a challenge. So they are an issue, but we have to speak against them and encourage people who are coming to God. Seek Him for yourself. The Bible says, "Seek first the kingdom, and all will be added." They have to want it. They have to be thirsty and hungry to find God. Well, that, that's, that's what that, that is a point. That is a point, David. You brought it up very good point now. They that hunger and thirst after right. shall be filled. Mm -hmm. That's so, right. So it's not just so, you know. It's not. It's not just so. The reason why we're doing this, this is because we have a hunger and thirst after the word mm -hmm. of God. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It, it doesn't just come like that. No. It just doesn't come like that. And I was, I was doing a thing on Sunday. I think. Oh yeah, we have a we have a thing on Sunday night, uh, telecon tele tele um, teleconference because we don't do Sunday night church anymore. We do it over, yeah. over the phone. So I was mm -hmm. I was mentioning about that, you know, that blessings mm -hmm. don't fall like rain. No. Blessings don't fall like rain. Mm -hmm. 
Even though it says if you fall the rain upon the just and on the just, blessing don't fall like rain. No. God said to Abraham, in blessing, I will bless you. Mm -hmm. In blessing, I will bless you. And I will mm -hmm. multiply your seed that they may like the sand of the seashore. Mm -hmm. And like the stars in the heaven. That mm -hmm. is a blessing. Mm -hmm. Everyone don't get that blessing, David. No, no. Everyone... But you hear people, oh God, or people in church saying all the time, oh, look how the Lord bless me. He's always pointing out to it, a car that he's driving or you heard that he bought a house. That's a false stuff. sense of blessing. But that is, that is not. That's that is not a false God. sense of blessing. And that's why, we, that's why people have to be careful. I'm telling you. We have to be very careful. It's mm -hmm. a false sense of blessing. Very false. Very because false. And that's why you see people say, harking off of those things. The things of the world, though, when the Bible distinctly says, Why would you build your treasures here on earth where moth will eat it? Because people in church are saying, Look, he's blessed. So the person, the young person, is thinking, Okay, so if I amount all these material things, then it's, it's a blessing from the Lord. I always say, Look at the guy on the corner who is selling drugs. He too has a lot of nice things. He drives a nice car. He also, who's blessing him? And see, Satan will bless, Satan blesses as well. Satan will bless the deceiver, the, the, the false prophet in the church who has a big mansion, his own private jet, and he's preaching false doctrine. Who's blessing him? Satan's yes. blessing him. Yeah. Because he's doing the works against God's kingdom. Okay. Oh. And, okay. Oh. and you know what happened? i tell you what happened, really. This, uh, Satan is blessing him. Mm -hmm. And you know what happened? Mm -hmm. Satan thought he wanted to bless Jesus the same way. Because mm -hmm. he took Jesus up on the pinnacle of the temple and showed, That's him, showed right. him all those same thing. treasures. and whatever Amen. Amen. These should be yours. So Amen. you will have all the fancy car, the beautiful house. That's right. You'll have Amen. the yacht. See? You'll have the yacht, and you have the, yeah, yeah. You have the yacht, Amen. and you have the private jet and everything, and Amen. that is Satan blessing. Amen. See that? That is Satan blessing. See that? See that? Look, 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 what you see there? Iron sharp. Yeah, iron. yeah, yeah. You know yeah. these are these are the battles we're gonna face when we go out there, and we speak again. We will speak to people about the Lord, and that's what they're gonna have in their eyes. Okay, what can God give to me? Yeah, you know, whereas the mindset, what can I do for God's kingdom? That's the mindset. Yeah, not what God can do for me, but what can I do for God's kingdom? Because just having Him, that's my blessing. You know, something being accepted by Him, that's my blessing. Yeah, it's you, not material things. You know, something as well, David. When we pray, mm -hmm. we have to order a prayer right, mm -hmm. right? Because sometimes we're praying and say, Lord, I want this. I want mm -hmm. that, yeah. I want that, I want this, I want that. Yeah. And yeah. you never say, thank you, Lord. That's for right. This. Thank you, Lord, for That's that. Right. Thank you for that, thank you for that, thank you for that, thank you for that. It's more, mm -hmm. oh, Lord, I need this, I need this, I need Always. this. Always. Always. So, so we have to balance it. That's right. That's why Christ so, teaches us. What did Christ say? Rather pray, your will be done. Yeah. Your will be done. Because yeah. he says that he already knows what we need before we ask him. Exactly. That's why he just initially says, seek first the kingdom and all That's those right. things will be added. When we're seeking the kingdom, God knows that it, it is safe to bless us. That's because we won't turn these possessions That's into right. God. Right. We won't turn these possessions into idols. We'll always put him first and those possessions will be where they belong. They're just things. And, They're and material things. You can't take it with you. Do you know I, um, Solomon was the richest man in his days? Mm -hmm. Richest man. He had a choice. He had, mm -hmm. Yes, he had. He was all the riches. In his mm -hmm. days, but you know something, the Bible says the, the lily. If you check out the lily, well, they were more mm -hmm. arrayed than Solomon was. Mm -hmm. There was more, you know, arrayed, beautiful mm -hmm. than Solomon was. Mm -hmm. But the thing is that Solomon let the riches that he had took him mm -hmm. away. That's right. From the from God, and he went on mm -hmm. to take on women which were not part mm -hmm. of in in the will of God. And his mm -hmm. trade. So sometimes, uh, what, what, what my point I'm trying to make is that God mm -hmm. can make any one of us rich. That's right. But he knows better. But mm -hmm. if he makes us rich, mm -hmm. he knows that we're going to put our heart and mind mm -hmm. in our riches and we mm -hmm. won't have any time for him. Mm -hmm. it, it's, 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 it, it, it's a fact. Mm -hmm. It is a fact. And that's why he says, according to my riches in glory, what God is saying to us is that you may not see the riches, but it's there. Like the loaves of bread and the fish, whenever you need it, I'll provide it. Yeah. Rather than me give it to you in a lump sum, where you're going to go crazy and become confused by it, 
I will just supply the need. When you need it, it's there. When you need it, it's there. It's like a fountain of, of you know, you, you go to the fountain and you, you always have find the water. That's what God provides. You don't need to have it all in lump sum. Like you said, the lump sum, having it all in one, that's where the confusion comes. Well, yeah, um, we just need to have, we need to, that's why I said we must worry about tomorrow. No. And, this, and the, 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 there's a big problem when we start thinking about tomorrow. What's going to happen? How we're going to do this? How we're going to do for, for a child of God, we live by faith. Mm -hmm. We don't shouldn't worry too much about tomorrow. That's right. We shouldn't Amen worry. That. That's why Jesus says we shouldn't worry about tomorrow. Worry about oh. today. That's right. That's all we have. That's all we have yes. to, is today. I've been on the planet for 54 years. I have never seen tomorrow. Every time I wake up, it's today. Yeah. It's all I've ever seen. Never seen. I've heard about tomorrow. Never, never quite seen it. So it's always about today. <laughs> And that takes, that takes us all away from the presence of God when we think too much about it what does. doesn't concern us. It does. He said he will provide. He knows the things that we need and he will provide. And we just have to Amen. believe in him and trust in him. We don't need Amen. to have a million pounds. We don't need to have a nah. big mansion. We don't need nah. to drive with our uh, Rolls Royce no. or Mercedes Benz, whatever, no. A class, whatever. We don't need mm -hmm. it. I mean... If it comes, it comes. But we yep. don't need to, to strive for those things. If they come, they no. come. That's right. The, uh, that's what you said quite obviously. It says, seek ye first the kingdom of heaven. That's right. And his righteousness. No matter what car the the you drive, them ask to get stuck in that traffic. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> the and same traffic, no matter which one it is. And this man have a wardrobe, and him have a hundred suit. <laughs> and him can only wear one at a time. You know, they've, you know, uh, they've, you know, but, but it's, uh, the same, it, it, it's the same thing when you have a big mansion house, is it? A bedroom, yeah. you can only one room. room. Exactly. exactly. No. And Christ, 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 Christ himself said that the prophet can't find anywhere to rest his head. Exactly. But you have to have a big mansion with eight rooms and a hundred suits. Hmm? <laughs> one man, a hundred suits. So, so this is the deception, the de deception that people have to go through. That's right. Because we have to know our priority. You know, it was said that Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, when they walked on the earth, they did not see any abiding city. They live in tents. See? They could afford to build because they, had, they, they were rich. They had great substance. But that is the way character. They had great substance. No, no. That when you talk about people like Abraham and all these guys, they were fear God, number one. And also, they have a a character of God in them. Everything is God. Yeah. So that's why those rich money did not come before them. Mm -hmm. A character of God. Look, look what Paul said in collision. Paul said, when Christ died, mm -hmm. Paul said, everything he knew. Remember, the man was so educated, he left. He said, everything I had, and he was rich. Everything he had, he mean nothing when he went to Christ. He said, when Christ died, I died with him. When he rose, I rose with him. But did did Christ tell us same scripture what David called seeking me first in the same chapter? This is what, what Christ said. Mm -hmm. Don't worry about those things. Mm -hmm. Those things will come when God have to give it to you. You don't worry. You just right. carry on do my work. That's right. But but the thing is, these guys now with the character of God. They are very limited. I'm sorry. I'm telling you the truth. They don't have character of God too. Because if they do character of God, they will never go that way. They will right. never. They will never. I'm telling you the truth. Hmm. Uh, they don't have the character of God. They, they, they have a character of, of that's why now. Look at the message they preach. Commercial. Me, I, I call it commercial gospel. Hmm. Because you have a man. Uh, look. Don't get me wrong. What do you think about this man they have in question? And the man is there probably, well, is the largest. He has stadium, 40,000 people in a Sunday. They are asking a question. That's me, the media. Hmm. One media is the Jews, unbelief, they don't believe God, and the other one was Oprah. About these people, these people, those wrong men. We're entering the what you ask him only one simple question. The guy said, 
you know, I don't know. I don't like hurting people. But then, you read the scripture. You can tell me everything, every Sunday. Nice, God is God. God is God. But yet, Joseph would choose in a bit. David, before he went, he was a... <laughs> he, he, all these guys went to something. How can you come and tell me everything is good? Every, every, everything will be nice. Yeah, of course, God is going to take care of me. But God was only going to train you. God cannot release you when people go, give me half a million money. Give me half a million. God, give me this. Give me, give me. Hmm. That was about what God wants you. Did God remind us? My ways, Isaiah 57. He said, my ways, not your ways. My thought is your thought. So you just humble yourself and submit and wait on me. If I think I have to release you for, for 10,000, I'll give you 10,000. But God knows, most people, God give money right now in the church. They will never, they will never follow God. I'm telling you, they'll be a backslider, big mm -hmm. time. Yeah, parties. Mm -hmm. Yeah, go holidays. Mm -hmm. So they, they don't have the character of God in them because if they do, they will not do those stupid things. And I'm telling you, these so-called guys, maybe you don't know who I'm talking to, but you will see him on TV. If you check him on TV, you will see everything nice. Don't worry. But he will not tell the truth. But the same Bible. Talk about Sodom and Gomorrah. Early on, you were talking about about Abraham. The same Bible talk about Sodom and Gomorrah. You know, I know all three. You already said a man who's not a man who sleep with another man, he commit adultery. Mm -hmm. All you have to do is tell the truth. Mm -hmm. Yes, you dare to help them, but they wrong. Well, tell them wrong. You know, you so must say everything is nice. I and and you think I'm wrong, David? I said, G. She was the one called me. Tell me, come and see. They asked him. The man could not say, but yet he's preaching 40,000 people. My fool. I, was, I got a problem. Anytime. Actually, I'm telling you, last week, two hours I was talking to somebody who was saying, same. I'm telling you, I think he was gone. And I tell him, I tell him exactly what his pastor do. I say, you, your pastor, both of you are corrupt. Don't come and tell me full nonsense. Tell me about what God said. Tell me what God is doing in your life. Tell me the truth. Don't mm -hmm. tell me this rubbish. A man is wrong. He, he, I said he's lying. The man is lying. He's not telling the truth. The gospel is the truth. The man is wrong. Everything is nice. Everything is nice. Why everything is nice? Mm -hmm. No. Huh? No. You, what we're doing now, very soon you will see a kind of challenge, especially that's what I said before you, David, because I know Satan knows he doesn't like the truth. No, he doesn't like it. And this guy, they compromise every day, every week, every week. Sorry, I'm, I'm disturbing you guys. No, 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 no. It's fine. It's yeah, fine. Yeah? It's fine. Yeah. Um, no, 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 no. So if you're a man of God, you say God, He called you, He chose you. Why don't you tell the truth? Mm -hmm. Why are you making people believe that everything is okay? Everything is okay. Yes, of course, everything is okay. Like David was saying, but you don't know what happened tomorrow. How can you tell me everything? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Anyway, why? Why? Yeah. Why? Why? No, I've been to you since I agree with everything that you're saying. And the more you speak to people in these times, the more challenging it is. There is a major issue in those areas. And there's a major issue when you have pastors who don't speak the undiluted word of God when they want to appease their masters, their pay masters. Most people that, you, that you're speaking about, those types of pastors where they work on TV, TV is, is, a, is a demonic thing. The TV is demonic. The people that run the TV networks, they're Satan worshippers. So once you go on those platforms, you're limited in what you can do. That's why we know that the true, the true church, the churches that are not lukewarm are the ones that are persecuted. They won't be on TV. They would never allow a true church on TV because they know that it's against what they believe. They believe in Satan. We believe in God. And the, the TV is used to corrupt the people. That's where all the corruption comes from. That's where all the lies come from. That's where all the fear mongering comes from. It's a very dangerous thing. Probably the most dangerous thing, I said to a lot of the young mums, the most dangerous thing in your house, and they ask me, what is that? I said, it's that thing that you call TV. Yeah. I call it tell lie vision. That's what it does. It tells you a mm. whole bunch of lies. And yeah. it's used to bring the people into corruption. You know, you learn from, I learned from TV about relationships between man and woman on TV. And what I learned was that 
it takes two two minutes. You can meet a woman two minutes, two days later, or even sometimes the same day in the film, the two of them are laying, laying together. And I'm thinking, wow, didn't know that you could do that. Mm -hmm. Didn't know that was acceptable. Most of most young people, yeah. they grow up watching TV and they learn their, mor their morals or lack of morals from TV. It teaches people what is acceptable and unacceptable. So it is very, very dangerous. But it is late, brothers. I don't know who's going to do the prayer to close us. But I want to give God the thanks and the praise and the honor. It's been a, um, a blessing. I'll leave it to brother. No worries. Well, it's been a blessing to be joined together. I'll leave it to brother. That's fine. That's okay. fine. <laughs> it's been a blessing to be together today to, to share God's message, to, for iron to sharpen iron, and for us to prepare ourselves for whatever days God has for us to also share with others. So, Lord, we give you the thanks, praise, and the honor. Yes. Brother Donald. Father, <clears throat> thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, dear Lord. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you, we praise you, we bless you, and we glorify your holy name. Thank you, Lord, for these hours spent um, in you talking about you, Lord, in your presence. We thank you for your these young men, Lord David. Oh God, if you put this thing on his heart that he may we have this teleconference and this Zoom conference. Lord, I pray you put your hand upon him. I pray you bless him. I pray you cover him under your precious blood. I pray you guide him with an eye, guide him with your wisdom. I pray so, you bless his children, his wife. I pray you bless his daughter, Loretta, and her, and her his, granddaughter, his granddaughter. Lord, and then you see the composition and the condition of the her and his granddaughter. Lord, I pray you will fix the situation, Lord. We yes, put Lord. it before you, Lord Jesus. Put Loretta also before you. Yes, Touch Lord. them, Lord. Touch all his children. Touch his household. Protect him. Open ways and avenues for him, Lord. Bless him financially in every way, in every direction. Bless his health, Lord God. Keep him, Lord. Yes, Lord. Oh, God. Continue to lead him in the way you want him to go. And let your yes, blessing be upon him. Oh, God, bless him abundantly. Lord, thank you for him on. Thank you for his heart, desire, and his determination. I know you will see him through. Touch Albert as well, Binti, oh God. I pray your hand will be upon him. Thank you for him. Thank you for his faith. Thank you for his desire, Lord yes. God, to witness yes, and to bring those into the kingdom. Lord, I pray you will touch him from his crown of his head to the sole of his feet. Bless his family. Unite his family together, Lord. Help him, Lord. Bless his, his yes. children also, Lord. Let your hands be upon his, his life. Open ways and avenues for him. Oh God, open ways and any plan that the enemy may have in his life. Lord, I send them back to the sender. I, bar, I bind the enemy right now. Satan, the blood of Jesus is upon you. Hallelujah. Lord Jesus, touch your sons. Cover them under your blood. Oh God, revive them. Use them. Use them. Hallelujah. To your glory and to your honor. Draw them nearer and nearer to you, Lord. Enfold them in your loving arm. Put your angels to guide their mouth, guide their steps, guide everything that they do. Be with them. Bless them. Cover them under your blood. Thank you for them, Lord. Continue to bless, keep, guide, and protect. I give you praise. I give you glory. And that which we fail to ask, we fail not to grant us. In Jesus' name. Amen. Okay, my brother. I'll call you back in a brother. Call you back in a second. Brothers, yes. God bless you, man. Amen. Amen. Huh? Well, brother Dallas, thank you so much. Yes. May God bless you. May God keep you. May yes. God cause this place to shine upon you and everything you do. Bring you peace, joy, happiness, and blessings to you and family. Brother Binti, blessings to yes. you, sir. May the Lord keep you. Cause this place to shine upon you and everything you do. Bring you peace, joy, happiness. Yes, sir. I look forward to seeing you guys. God willing. Virgin, continue, yes. continue the good work. Amen. The Lord Blessings. is with you. God bless. Yes. God bless. God bless. It is well. It is well. Amen. Amen. Blessings. 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 Blessings.